going through and doing this, the system is actually informing me about particular product and what the available inventory is for that product. Because this is a custom product, I'm generally not going through and stocking this product or preloading serial numbers for the product. So instead, it's actually telling me that there's no available inventory. So we need to do some type of production processing against this to be able to then grab parts build that particular product and then assign a serial number as part of that building process based off of our setups. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go through and release this particular product and then I'm going to actually go through and plan it and when I do my planning action here this is actually going to allow me to go through and then create a production order so that someone in a work facility, someone on a flow line is very common in hearing aids uh, or even in a work cell can actually start the production process to be able to grab the parts, the lot numbers, and then produce the serial numbers with it. And then we're going to ship this product and then we're going to look at the traceability with it. So I'm going to go ahead and create the production order. I'm going to create a release production order inside of our environment and I'm going to call it a project order. And I'm going to go ahead and release that. And what the system is going to do is it's going to bind now this production production order to this one particular sales order. And the beauty of that is that from an end user perspective, you can always get to the reserved quantity here if I click on it to get to the production order to see what's happening for that particular hearing aid in this example. So traceability in terms of getting down to production very quickly and easily, I can just click on it and I can see, for example, what production order this is related to very quickly and easily from my actual sales order screen.